In this video, we are going to add up the following binomial coefficients. 20 choose 0, add by 20 choose 1, add by 20 choose 2, and by all the way up to 20 choose 20. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. As we're adding binomial coefficients, the binomial theorem may be useful. So let's recall the theorem. It is used to expand powers of sums, and here are the easiest examples x plus 1 all squared, x plus 1 all cubed, and x plus 1 all to the power of 4. To show how the theorem works, let's try to expand x plus 1 all to the power 5. By definition, it is equal to the product of 5 copies of x plus 1. When we expand and remove the brackets, for each term in the expansion, we choose either x, labeled in yellow, or 1 from each bracket, and the outcome will be either x to the power 5, x to the power 4, x cubed, x squared, x or the constant 1. It remains to count how many of each possible term are there. Say how many x to the power 5 are there, how many x to the power 4 are there, etc. For x to the power 5, we need to choose x from all 5 copies of x plus 1, underlined in black. So that means we need to choose all 5 objects among 5 which means there are so-called 5 choose 5 number of ways to get x to the power 5. And similarly, for x to the power 4, there should be so-called 5 choose 4 number of ways to choose 4x among the 5 copies of x plus 1, and then the rest, and for the remaining one, 1 will be choose. And so the outcome will be x to the power 4. So using a similar argument, we'll have this, the expansion to be these two terms added by 5 choose 3 times x cubed plus 5 choose 2 times x squared plus 5 choose 1 times x plus 5 choose 0 times 1 and it's just 5 choose 0 itself. And it turns out to be x to the power 5 plus 5 x to the power 4 plus 10x to the power 3, plus 10x squared, plus 5x, plus 1. But in this problem, it's not important on uh, how do we uh, compute each of the binomial coefficients, so we'll just skip that. The series is just for your information. Now using what we've got, we can deduce that the expansion of x plus 1 all to the power 20 will be something like 20 choose 20 times x to the power 20 plus 20 choose 19 times x to the power 19 20 choose 18 times x to the power 18 adding all the way down to 20 choose 2 x squared plus 20 choose 1 times x plus 20 choose 0 times 1 which is that number itself and you, can no you may notice that we have the coefficients to be exactly the numbers that we want to add. Now at this point, here, here is the key trick. If we replace all the x by 1, so that these terms, the underlying terms, will all be omitted because the number multiply uh, 1 is just the number itself and of course we can do that because um, what I've written just now is actually an identity which means this should hold for all values of x so in particular I can replace x by 1 and so these numbers can be ignored 
and we have the sum of the coefficients. And this number turns out to be 1 plus 1 all to the power 20. So that means our final answer should be 2 to the power 20 and that is equal to 1,048,576. So this is the answer to our problem. I'm going to end this video by evaluating this sum as some sort of extension of what I've done previously. As you can see, the numbers 20 choose some odd number, say 20 choose 1, 20 choose 3, and so on, are omitted. And to evaluate this, we need to consider multiple binomial expansions. Notice that if we add all the terms of the form 20 choose R, where we have no restriction on R, just between 0 and 20, then we will have the sum to be equal to 2 to the power 20. So we need to subtract out the terms of the form 20 choose odd numbers. To do this, let's consider the expansion of x minus 1 all to the power 20 instead. And it turns out it's exactly turning the coefficients of odd powers to negative, while the coefficients of even powers remain the same. So that means it should equal to 20 choose 20 times x to the power 20 minus, not plus, but minus 20 choose 19 times x to the power 19 plus, because it's even powers, 20 choose 18 times x to the power 18 and then minus again, 20 choose 17 x to the power 17 and so on. And at last we'll have minus 20 choose 1 x plus 1 again because constant term means zero power and that's even. Now for this expansion, if we replace x by 1 again, so that means I'm removing all the x terms like before, and then this sum, adding all the 20 choose even numbers, subtracting all the 20 choose odd numbers is actually equal to 1 minus 1 all to the power 20 and that's equal to 0. Now to evaluate the sum we want, we can actually add the two results we've got. This one, we add in these terms while subtracting or I should say cancelling out all the terms of the form 20 choose odd numbers while we have two copies of 20 the sum of 20 choose even numbers so two times our final answer equals 0 plus 2 to the power 20 so that means the answer of this sum should be 2 to the power 20 over 2 and that's 2 to the power 19, which equals to 524,288. Please feel free to write down your thoughts in the comments on how do we evaluate um, sums of binomial coefficients of similar form.